Hi there, here is a quick demo of lineage functionality in the dbt power user extension. You can view model level lineage as well as column level lineage. To view the lineage, what you do is you open the model file in the editor, like how I have opened mart full moon underscore reviews here, and then go into the lineage panel. The lineage panel will show you some other immediate connections for that particular model with that model at the center. You can view components like, of course, dbt model. You can view the seed files. Uh, you can view the analysis. You can view the exposures as well as matrix. Now, once you see your initial lineage, you can expand the paths by clicking on these plus signs. But if you want to expand multiple levels very quickly, we have introduced this expand button here. So you click on this. Whether you want to go towards parents direction or children direction, you can click here. It shows you how many tables are going to be added to the lineage. You click on this and then suddenly you can expand a lineage graph at a multiple levels. So this is model level lineage. Awesome. But even more awesome is how you can view column level lineage. So for this particular model, if you want to view column level lineage, what I would do is click on the details button here in that particular component. It shows me list of the columns for that model. There is also sync with DB. So if you don't see some columns which are just present in the database but not referenced in the model itself, you can click on sync with DB and all the columns will show up here. Now to choose a specific column, you have to click on that column. For example, I want to use this review ID for column level lineage. So I'm going to click on that. To do column level lineage, uh, you should have a SAS KPI key added to the extension. Okay, so I'm going to click on the review ID and now it's pulling the lineage. As you can see from here, there are a few connections here going from review date into review ID. It's a minor error here. And then how all those things are connected. You can zoom in and see more of the details here. There are two types of connections we show the connections that are coming from the select queries or the connections that are coming from sort of a non-select information. You can filter out this information or if you want to view specific connections, you can go in the settings area and disable some of these things so that when you use this functionality, your settings will be preserved all the time. So this is how you remove the non-select sort of a connection and in this way you can quickly see all the column level lineage connections as well and expand it further if needed so thanks for watching this demo if you have any feedback on how this functionality can be made better or if you encounter um, any bugs etc you can give us the feedback through this feedback button here um, and just enjoy um, doing the lineage with the dbt power user extension Thank you so much.